Welcome back, guys, to another episode of Destroy This Cargo. Over here. Order 1886. What is this? Oil or something? Like fuel? Oh, shit. We're burning vampires today, boys. These are all vampires in here. How fucking creepy is that? Well, that didn't do much, did it? What do you got, Galahad? Am I supposed to light this or something? Do we shoot it? Aha! I'll light this one. Prepare another. If these things come alive, I swear to God, dude. We'll end the Let's Play right now. There are literally millions of vampires around us right now. This is terrifying. I don't know how they're not waking up. This one's ready. It's taking a while to catch. <laughs> Over here. This is me to get up there. Yeah. It's about the most awkward conversation I've ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> she sat there and stared at the ledge for like five minutes. Right, now you help me up, girl. Help you off. All right. Oh, what the There's fudge! Oh, okay, good. I thought she's gonna leave us down here and we were just gonna be done, though, dude. Just vampires coming at us, all kinds of crazy stuff. I Kick that ladder down. Stuff. Why are there so many fuel cans in here is the question. Dude, look at all the vampires. All right, this one's ready to be lit. Let's move on Stop. to the rest. Very well. Go, go. take care of the remaining cargo. I'll deal with this time. Well, as long as we're shooting people and not not vampires, it works for me. Ooh. Really? This is starting to get a little bit unbelievable. We aren't hitting these shots. Lit some more. God neutralized. Sniper's pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. Company man down. Yeah, that's the question. What about this one? There are more crates below. We need to get down there. What about this set of crates right here? They're marked with the red thing. Keep them off me while well, I light the crates! Ah. Got you, girl. Ah. We're running out of time. Target down! We're literally taking cover and firing around crates of vampires. Like, how, how good of an idea can this possibly be? Almost dead. 
We need to kill this guy before he gets a grenade down here. Scenes, baby. Keep burning this shit. That's the last of them. It's locked. Oh no. Oh fuck. Look out. Face like a boss. <clears throat> Directive eliminate. The oh, fuck. No, oh, I need this weapon, you bitch. Hell yeah. Get Get Reggie Bush, baby. Woo. Oh shit, his buddy got me. Get up and kill him. We're gonna kill him, we gotta finish him off. Yes! Ass. Let's go. That's two of them. You know what? That's two. Over here? Ronnie, are you in there? Daddy! Nice! You have to hear Daddy. Voice. Ronnie, are you hot? No. Not yet, but hurry! Break down the door! At once, Ronnie! Fuck, dude, there's gonna be another one, isn't there? There's gotta be another one. No! What are you gonna do? Put him in a choker? Come on now. Somebody can get this dude. Thank you. Solid. Got him right in the head. Let's go. I never thought to see you again, daughter. How did you find us? There's no time. The company's forces are gathering at the shipyard. We must flee. Night. Did not tempt fate. Our work here is done. Hopefully no freaking uh... No vampires made it out of that. Hopefully the whole thing burns down. Because I ain't trying to mess with actual vampires. <laughs> I ain't about that life. This horror must be made known to the Council. Tread carefully, Knight. The company could not succeed without powerful friends in the government. You saw on the docks how your own ranks have been infiltrated. If it is as you say, then surely I would The have war suspected. has turned against the half-breeds. They are now using the United India Company to spread terror throughout the world. You must help us. I'm a knight, sworn to protect the realm, not bring it crashing down. Then you must trust no one. Fare you well, knight. But only we could have met on different circumstances. Where shall I find you? Whisper my name in Whitechapel, and I will be there. What? He was trying to get them digits. He just got shut down. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Galahad. Happens to the best of us. All right, chapter 10, confrontations. Gray, what in the world is going on? Not now, is he? Don't 
Don't walk away from me! I saw you at Whitechapel! What? You followed me? I was worried about you. You fled like a madman after the battle on the bridge. You know nothing. Less than nothing. Is this some kind of clandestine infiltration? Is that what you're up to? This isn't the time! Grey, what's happened to you? No. Ever since Mallory was killed, I look at you and... What? What do you see? I don't know. A stranger. Someone I'm not sure I can trust anymore. Whatever it is, for God's sake, tell me. Not this time, is he? And you do well to stay clear of me. For your own good. You! Find General Lafayette and summon him to the library! The conspiracy runs to the very heart of the Council. This allegation is monstrous! I refuse to believe it. If the Lord Chancellor will permit me, I can I show- I will not permit! And you will say nothing more of these ridiculous suspicions! All the years I've known your father, never have I seen him so obstinate. Your allegations strike at the very heart of the Empire. I fear he cannot sustain another blow as great as the loss of Mallory. All he need do is journey to Blackwall Yard. For what evidence? The destruction was total. A clear case of arson, according to Commissioner Doyle. Apparently, a small group of rebels was seen on the docks. It was all rather... What is the word the Commissioner is so fond of? Oh, yes. Elementary. Now, what do you think? I have no opinion. Should you wish, I can attempt to persuade the Lord Chancellor to put the matter before the Council. If it is true that we have a traitor in our midst, word well, is bound to get back to the conspirators. What do you propose? Breach the walls of the United India House under cover of night. Any information that will shed light on the events of the last few days must surely be found there. Trespass on the company's headquarters. You are cut from the same cloth as Mallory. Drastic circumstances call for drastic measures. Oh. I would have your assistance, Alistair. I hardly think it proper for the Knight Commander to be you seen- You know the lay of the land. I will need your guidance to navigate the grounds of the United India House. If a conspiracy is to be revealed, your testimony will carry weight with your father. Very well. But the two of us alone will not suffice to infiltrate the compound. If what you say is true, there are precious few we can trust. My sister, Lafayette. I cannot involve them until I have more evidence. And who? I might know just the person who can help us. I thank you, brother. We're approaching the United India House. I assume we're not planning to enter through the front door. Not to worry. I've made preparations for our incursion. Gaining access to the compound proved to be a little more difficult than planned. Chapter 11, Brothers in Arms. We're here. 18th day of October, 1886, Duke Street, Mayfair. Back entrance to the compound. You could say that. Looks like we're gonna be sneaking in, boys. This is gonna be fun. I'll see you guys in the next episode.